Amen. <laughs> Batiin po natin ang bawat isa. Baka na-miss nyo yung isa't isa. <laughs> Sabihin po natin, I love you with the love of the Lord. <laughs> Magsama-sama na lang kayo sa isang lugar. <laughs> Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. Lord, hallelujah, Lord. We praise you, Lord God. We worship you, Lord, Father God. Lord, maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa gabing ito na ipinagkalob niya sa amin upang magpuri po kami, Panginoon, sa aming sariling wika, Lord God. At tunay nga po, Panginoon, ang pagpupuri sa inyo sa aming, sa aming sariling salita ay napakasarap sa aming mga puso, Panginoong Yesus. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa buhay po ng bawat isa sa amin ngayong gabing ito na narito ngayong gabi, Panginoon. Maraming salamat, Lord. Bless us, Lord God, Panginoon. And always protect us, Lord Jesus, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat sa kalakasan, sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon, sa kalusugan, Panginoon. At humihingi po kami, Panginoon, ng kapatawaran sa lahat po ng aming mga kasalanan, Panginoon. Kayo po, Panginoon, ang magbigay ng liwanag sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon. At ituro niyo po, Panginoon, sa amin ang tamang landas na aming pong lalakaran bilang isang Kristiyano, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord God. And we lift up tonight, Lord God, only for you, Lord Jesus, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you. We honor your name, Holy Jesus. You are holy, Jesus. You are holy, O oh God. We praise you. We honor you. We honor you in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa sandaling ito, Panginoon. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, dahil muli po, Panginoon, ay kami ay nakapagpuri, Panginoon, sa iyo, Panginoon. Lord, we want to worship you in the spirit and truth, O God. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, um, tunay nga, Panginoon, ang pagsamba sa iyo, Panginoon, ay aming kaligayahan, Panginoon. Tunay nga po, Ama, na nasa langit, Panginoon, nagaging kalugod-lugod, Panginoon, ang pagsambang ito, O God. Lord, like you said, O God, in Matthew 5.8, Bless the pure in heart, for they will see the glory of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, uh, mapalad ang mga nagugutom at nauuhaw sa katwiran sapagkat sila'y bubusogin. Mapalad ang mga mahabagin sapagkat kahabagan sila ng Diyos. Mapalad ang mga may malinis na puso sapagkat makikita nila ang Diyos. We want to see your glory, O God. We want to see your glory in this place, Lord, tonight, O Lord. Lord, wala kaming hangarin, Panginoon, sa gabing ito, kundi makasalamuha ka, Panginoon. Lord, wala kaming in- intention, Panginoon, sa gabing ito, O God, upang kami ay magpuri at magsamba, Panginoon, sa iyo lamang, Panginoon. Wala kaming ibang gagawin, Panginoon, kung hindi sambahin ka sa spirito at katotohanan, Panginoon. Lord, wala kaming ibang Diyos, Panginoon, kung hindi ikaw lamang, Panginoon. Lord, you said, bless are those uh, who, who have a pure heart so they will see the glory of God. Lord, sa gabing ito, Panginoon, binubuksan namin, Panginoon, ang aming mga puso, Panginoon. Ano man po, Panginoon, ang dala-dala ng bawat isa, Panginoon, sa aming puso, Panginoon. Lord, tanggalin mo to, Panginoon. Lord, remove everything. We cast out any forms of evil right now in our heart, O God. Lord, wala kang ibang itira kundi pagmamahal, Panginoon. Wala kang ibang itira, Panginoon, kung hindi ang pagmamahal mo, Panginoon, because you first love us, O Lord. Lord, right now, Panginoon, we want to see your glory, O God. Lord, touch us, O God. Touch us to trust you, O God. Wholeheartedly, O God. Teach us, Father God, the power of love from you, Lord. Teach us, O God, that our faith, O God, can move a mountain, O God. Lord, truly, Father God, you are a faithful God. Ikaw po, Panginoon, sa aming nagpala, Panginoon. We want to give glory, O oh God. We want to shout your name, Jesus, in this place, O oh God. We want to give all the honor and praises to you alone, Jesus. As we call your holy name, O oh God, we believe that there's a power in the name of Jesus, O oh God. There's a power right now of the Holy Spirit in us, O oh God. The anointing from heaven, O oh God, will pour out tonight, O oh God. So we will rejoice and be glad right now, O oh God, as we call your holy name, O oh God, that we will celebrate, O oh God, that we are free, free indeed, Lord. Lord, we are free, free indeed 2,000 years ago, O oh God. It is finished, O oh God. Lord, whatever the, the lies, whatever the lies and trick of evil, O oh God, will not be possible, O oh God, in our mind, O oh God. Because we have Jesus. We have Jesus, O oh God. In Jesus' name, O oh God. Malaya po ang lahat ng anak ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Malaya po ang lahat na nanampalataya kay Jesus Cristo because He is the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. Glory to you, Jesus. Glory to you, Jesus. Glory to you, Jesus, O oh God. We are alive because of you, Lord. We have life. We have eternal life, O oh God. Truly, Lord, you are alive in us tonight, O God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your holy presence, O God. Thank you, Lord, for moving freely tonight, O God. 
truly, Father God, that we receive healing, O oh God. We receive empowerment, O oh God. We receive wisdom and provision from you, O oh Lord. Lord, we thank you and we glorify your name, O oh God. At sa lahat pa po ng gagawin mo sa gabing ito, O oh God, we trust you, O oh God. We trust you that you will move and pour out the miracles tonight. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Tayo pong lahat ay manalangin. Diyos sa manaming makapangyarihan sa lahat, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa gabing ito, Panginoon. Sa sandali, Panginoon, na kami, Panginoon, na pinipon mo, Panginoon. Tunay nga, Panginoon, na this is our divine appointment, Father God, for your holy communion, O God. Lord, we want to praise you, to honor you, O God. Lord, like you promise, O God, Bless the pure in heart, for they will see the glory of God. Lord, tonight, O God, touch us, O God, to do this, O God, with a pure heart. Touch us, O God, to have the same heart like you, Lord, as we partake this, O God, as we reminisce your holy sacrifice, O God, on the cross. Truly, Lord, we are blessed. We are grateful, O oh God, to have you. We are grateful to be our Savior, O oh God. Tunay nga, Panginoon, na marami kami dapat ipasalamat, Panginoon. Lord, kung alalahanin namin ang, sag- ang 
pighati, ang sakripiso. Ang hirap mo, Panginoon. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, na wala yung mga nararanasan namin sa mundong ito sa sinapit mo sa cross, Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon. You teach us to remind your holy sacrifice, O God, for us to realize, Panginoon, kung gaano ka nahirapan, paano mo, Panginoon, tinanggap, Panginoon, ang lahat ng iyong sakripisyo, Panginoon, para sa amin, para sa kagaya ko, Panginoon, na makasalanan, makasarili. Lord, tonight, O oh God, we want to see your glory. We want we want you to encounter, O oh God, in this place, O oh God, as we partake this Holy Communion, O oh God, as we pray tonight, O oh God, as we celebrate, O oh God, Lord, be with us. Talk to your people, O oh God. Anoint your people, O oh God. Right now, O oh God, Lord, we need comfort. We need your hug. We want to hear your voice, Lord. We want to see your face, Lord. We open our heart to you, O oh God. Right now, O oh God, pinubuksan po namin ang aming mga puso, Panginoon. Pinubuksan po namin, Panginoon, ang aming puso para sa iyo lamang, Panginoon. We remove any, anything, Father God, from this world, O oh God. Because we want to see your glory tonight, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Nasusulat po, mga kapatid, in Lucas 22.19, dumampot din siya ng tinapay at matapos magpasalamat sa Diyos, ay kanyang pinaghati-hati iyon at ibinigay sa kanila. Sinabi niya, ito ang aking katawan na hinahandog para sa inyo. Gawin ninyo ito bilang pag-alaala sa akin. Let's partake the bread. Next verse in verse 20. Gayun din naman, dinampot niya ang kopa pagkatapos maghapunan at sinabi, ang kopang ito ang aking tinapay ng Diyos, ang bagong tipan ng Diyos na pinagtibay ng aking dugo. Ang aking dugo ay mabubuhos alang-alang sa inyo. Glory to you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you and we ask everything, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, hello. Patuloy po tayo na uh, magpuri at uh, magbigay uh, um, ng pasasalamat sa ating Panginoon. Uh, we can uh, worship God through our tithes and our, our offering. Um, kaya ihanda po natin yung ating mga puso. Uh, hindi sa ating uh, pagsamba sa ating Panginoon. Uh, magkaroon po tayo ng kagalakan, uh, pasasalamat na magbigay sa Panginoon. ay uh, magbigay ng kaluluran sa ating Diyos. Kaya aming Ama, maray pong salamat, Lord. Tunay Panginoon na Ikaw po ang aming uh, Jehovah, Jaira Panginoon, ang aming Diyos. Lord God, na nagpo-provide ng aming mga pangangailangan, Panginoon. 
O Lord God, maraming salamat. O Lord God, kami po, Panginoon, ay uh, nagbabalik sa iyo, Panginoon, ng may kagalangan, Panginoon. Lord, I pray that uh, the tithes and the offering that uh, we are uh, going, going, Lord God, to uh, give back to you, Panginoon. Lord, i-bless mo po ito, Panginoon, for the furtherance of your kingdom, Panginoon. Maraming pong salamat, O Lord God, dahil iyo, Panginoong uh, pinuksan, Lord God, ang pintuan, Panginoon, the floodgates of heaven, O Lord God. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Ano man, Lord God, ang aming Panginoong maibibigay sa iyo, Lord Panginoon, alam po namin, O Diyos, ito, Panginoon, ay iyong Panginoong ibabalik, O Lord God, dahil ikaw ang aming Diyos na mapagmahal, Panginoon. Ikaw ang aming Diyos, Panginoon, na nagbibigay, Panginoon. Kaya maray pong salamat, O Lord God. Now I pray, Father God, that this offering and the tithes, Father God, that you will bless the Lord God for the furtherance of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good evening, everyone. Hendang kami po. My hands is shaking right now. <laughs> um, before I start, um, sino pong mag-share ng pagpapala? Amen. It's okay. Ito yung miracles na lang. Uh, una sa lahat, nagpapasalamat ako sa may kapal, sa Panginoon. Uh, puro biyaya po yung binibigay sa aming pamilya. Si, ito yung sinasabi ng Panginoon na talaga pag maghintay kay bibigay sa iyo ng siksik at liglig. Uh, sa naranasan ko po, uh, alam niyo naman po yung siya. Ano, uh, Ngayon po na puro ano po, puro pagsubok po pero binibigay po ng Panginoon talaga yung nararapat na para sa atin. Gaya po ng na-stroke nga po ko, tapos ngayon namatayan po ako. Uh, dapat uuwi ako, eh kaso lang, di, di, uh, nag-pray ako, di ako sa pray. Talagang bukso ng damdamin ko, gusto kong umuwi. Siyempre, kapatid, bunsong kapatid ko yun namatay. Gusto kong umuwi talaga, iyak ako ng iyak, hanggang nagagalit na ako sa asawa ko dahil ayaw niya ako iyan ng tiket. Tapos ngayon, nihanap niya ako ng tiket, pero gabi nga yun, talagang sabi niya, mag-pray ka, mag-pray ka, ganun din yung mga kapatiran, si pastor, ganun din po. Nag-pray ako, hiningi ko po sa Panginoon na lang, pinaubaya ako sa kanya, hiningi ko po sa kanya kung ano po yung nararapat. So, Humingi ako ng ano sa kanya, kung anong gagawin ko, uh, binigay niya, uh, sinabi niya sa akin, hindi naman talaga nakita ako, kundi sinabi niya na wag na ako umuwi kasi meron din akong pamilya rito na maiwan, baka ano po mangyari sa akin. So talagang time-time na dinasal ko, ibinigay ng Panginoon ng lawak ng, ng liwanag na wag na ako umuwi. Uh, yun na, sinunod ko po yun. Tapos pinray ko rin po na 
Kung di ko uwi, ibigay niya po yung katahimikan ng isip ko, yung damdamin ko. Ngayon, ayun, ngayon nga po, medyo, ah, hindi naman medyo, talagang okay na po ako dahil ibinigay ko na po sa kanya yung mga nadadamdam, nararamdaman ko. Kahit masakit, kahit mahirap, yun na lang po yung po ang ginawa ko na talaga sinunod ko ang Panginoon. Kaya pasalamatan po natin ang Panginoon, lalo, lalo po ako, kaming pamilya, pinasalamatan ko po ang Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po, Jesus name. Amen. Sino pa? Who blessed this week? Sino pang na-bless? Dapat i-share nyo para encourage ba? <laughs> Amen. Yung sinabi mong encouragement, okay. Sabi ng Panginoon, tumayo ka dyan. So, um, andito po ako upang uh, magbigay papuri sa ating Diyos na buhay. Um, ito po ay um, kakaibang pasasalamat. Kasi po, ako ay nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Dahil po, sa mga panahon na ito, ito po ang pinaka sa tanang buhay ko na nasusubukan po ako. Ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon dahil inalaw niya po ito na mangyari sa buhay ko ngayon. Um, Nagpapasalamat po ako dahil ito po ay paraan ng, ng pagpupurify through fire. So ito po ang mga naririnig natin sa mga sermon na we have to go through the process of purification. Ito po ay kailangan natin ipagpasalamat kasi mahal na mahal tayo ng Panginoon. He wants us to be pure in His sight. He wants us to be clean to be holy, kaya po kailangan maranasan po natin lahat ito. We have to go through, um, we have to persevere. So, akala po ng kaaway, no, because um, he is very cunning. So, the enemy is very cunning. Dapat, mas maging magkaroon tayo ng wisdom na nanggagaling sa Panginoon. Akala niya, when he inflict all these troubles and heartaches, akala niya tayong kristyano ay matutulog na lang or magmumukmuk sa bahay. No. What we should do is we should tell the Lord, Lord, na-overcome mo na to matagal na. Lahat ng pagsubok na overcome na ng Panginoon. Wala na tayong adadanasi na hindi mapagtatagumpayan dahil ang Panginoon napagtagumpayan na yan. Lahat-lahat. So what we should do in times of trouble, in times of trial, don't close your door, bedroom door and cry and do whatever. All you have to do, come to the house of the Lord, praise Him, worship Him, give Him everything that is in your heart. Because only He and only He knows till when you are going to persevere this, till when you are going to go through everything because this is for the purification and for the betterment of your soul, your spirit. So, kailangan po, mga kapatid, I'm just encouraging you. Ngayon po, um, the enemy is attacking me personally, telling me, don't come here tonight, don't do this, don't do that. But I say, no, in Jesus' name, you flee, you go away. Because I will worship the living God, and I will worship, and nothing and no one can stop me. So, I just encourage you, mga kapatid, It's not the time na manghina pag may problema. Bagkos lalo po tayong lumapit, lalo po tayong mag-church, lalo tayong mag-fellowship with each other because our strength, our joy comes from the Lord. And not only from the Lord, He gives each and every one of us na magkita-kita, mag-fellowship, corporate worship because it increases our faith and it increases our joy. So only through God that you can find true peace and true joy. 
So yun lang po mga kapatid, I strongly encourage you, kung may troubles kayo, come to the Lord, not to anyone. Thank you. To God be the glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sino pa? We still have time. Lots of time. <laughs> Amen. Ate. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, maraming maraming pong salamat sa gabing ito. Ako po'y lubos nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng mga kapatira na tumulong at nag-attend sa 21st birthday ni Jello. Uh, I give the honor and glory sa ating Panginoon dahil sa 21 years ng buhay niya, uh, naging party, sa ngayon naging party kayo lahat-lahat. Bali, wala mang kaming immediate family in here. But uh, we are one in the family of Christ. At nung gabi ngayon, uh, uh, I decided not to invite uh, any um, friends outside the church. Uh, kasi ang sabi ko sa, sa kay Papa Boy at kay Jello, this is the time para a way of thanksgiving sa lahat ng mga kapatiran that encourage us, give us uh, uh, support. So maraming marami pong salamat. Uh, Dahil alam ko po na that gathering belongs to God, that gathering, uh, the gathering of uh, children of God. At maraming marami pong salamat sa lahat na nagtulong na naging uh, successful ang lahat, sa lahat ng mga nag-donate ng pagkain, sa lahat ng nag-decorate, at Inoki, uh, Sis Donna, lahat-lahat, si Sis Karina, lahat-lahat po, maraming marami pong salamat. Naging imposible po ang lahat ng yun kung hindi sa tulong ng bawat isa. At uh, one more thing, uh, two days ago, uh, gumawa po ako ng uh, account, uh, no, uh, group. Dahil uh, kailangan po ng tulong ng ating pastor at ng kanyang pamilya. Uh, I said it live now kasi uh, hindi naman... Hindi naman ano sa atin na they really need our support, not only uh, spiritually but financially. So two days ago, um, sa lahat po ng mga kapatiran, within one hour or more than an hour, kung magkano po ang dapat itulong sa kay pastor at sa kanyang family, glory be to God, parang, parang ulan lang po na dumating Parang hindi ko na po alam kung paano i-collect lahat-lahat na dumating at pumapasok sa ini-interact sa aking account. So, maraming 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 marami pong salamat ang Diyos na po ang bahalang magbalik ng siksik at liglig na pagpapala sa atin. Ang sabi nga sa salita ng Diyos, pag binibless natin ng ating pastor at ang kanyang family, sobra-sobra pa ang ibabalik ng Panginoon sa atin. So, wag po tayong... Uh, mapagod, wag po tayong uh, mawala ng pag-asa. Kung may pagsubok man po na pinagdadaanan ang pastor natin at ang kanyang family, hindi po magiging uh, uh, mabigat po sa kanila kung sabay-sabay po natin itong uh, ipag-pray, sabay-sabay po natin haharapin. Because we are one family. Kung ano ang dinadanas ng pamilyang ito, ganun din ang pagdadanasan natin para maging maging magaan sa kanila. So, keep on praying for them kasi ang kaaway, uunahin niya mo nang titarahin ang, na, ang nasa taas. Sumunod yun yung sa baba. Parang ano lang yan, a chain reaction. So, right now, we rebuke any works of the enemy. Ang simbahang ito, tataya ito kahit anong bagyo ang dumating. We started at 12. Kahit dumating tayo ulit sa 12, kung yan ang kagustuhan ng Panginoon, let's start it all over again. Kasi alam natin, ang 12 ay very significant number yan. So, wag tayong manghina, but bagkos ang kahinaan ng isang kapatiran natin ay magiging kalakasan ng lahat pag tayo ay sabay-sabay na mag-move forward. Parang isang walis ting lang yan, di ba? Hindi niya kayang linisin ang isang simbahan pag isa lang. Pero pag isang bunch yan at sabay-sabay yan na... Sa paglinis, lahat ay magiging maayos. So, huwag tayong manghina. Ang ating pastor ay tao lang. Hindi siya isang perpekto na tao. Si ate Ani ay isang tao din na isang nanay, isang asawa, at isang isang normal na tao silang pamilya. 
kung ano man ang kanilang mga pagkakasala or ano man ang kakulangan nila sa atin, mas lalo natin silang mahalin at intindihin. At bagkus, wag, wag na wag tayong maghusga. Dahil lahat tayo ay makasalanan, walang perpekto na ginawa ang Diyos. Ang Diyos lang natin ang perpekto sa lahat ng bagay. So maraming marami pong salamat. Sabay-sabay tayong manalangin sa lahat ng oras in season and out of season. Maraming marami pong salamat. Amen. Praise God. Mayroon pa? May dalaw pa. <laughs> okay, let's pray. Just, I'm just there. Um, ako din, mayroon din akong ano, uh, blessings. <laughs> Yun nga, na yung nakilala ko si Pastor, um, the flood gods of heaven is, uh, is poor. for that in my in my house yan na wala nang ano walang walang there's no room and kaya kahapon mayroon akong another blessings na naman na kasi sila si Kuya Boy at saka si Ate binigay nila sa amin yung ano cleaning so malaking ano tulong din at saka kanina mayroon akong interview sa sa welding din praise God na hire din ako anytime magsimula ako praise God glory to God so yun mamaya um, I'll tell you later kung bakit binibless po tayo na Panginoon lalo na dito sa church mamaya po Okay, um, our topic for tonight is blessing your pastor. Actually, na nagawa ko na yung ano yung miss uh, sermon ko or preaching. Tapos sabi ng Panginoon, ito yung ano mo i-preach mo. Tapos yun nga nagubi ako sa Panginoon. Kaya I'm so excited to this um, sermon tonight. So in Hebrew, ito yung, uh, this is the one, Lord give it to me, in Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 17. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls. As those who will have to give an account, let them do this with joy and not groaning, for that will be of no advantage to you. Meaning, in other words, don't take your church leader for granted. Instead, bring joy to their lives by the way you treat them. So we have to treat our pastor as much as we can through love. Amen? And here are the three ways to bless our pastor. First, of course, we have to pray. Pray your pastor. Pray for your pastor and their family. And also finances, good health always, strength, wisdom. And may the Holy Spirit continue to pour out their blessings with seven folds, meaning perfect In Hebrew chapter 13, verse 18, pray for us, for we are sure that we have clear conscience and desires to live honorably in every way. Amen. So, in Tagalog, idalangin ninyo kami. They're talking about all the, the servants, the, the pastors. Sapagkat kami naniniwalang lubos na kami ay ng mabuting budhi. na nanagnasang mabuhay na marangal sa lahat ng mga bagay. Amen? Amen. Amen. So in Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15, And I will give you shepherd after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. So shepherd, who's these shepherds? They are Pastors 
who feeds with knowledge and understanding. So in second, number two, talk positively behind his back. The temptation to gossip about church leadership is strong. One way to defeat it is to be proactive in speaking positively about your pastors. This can preclude gossip and encourage others to appreciate the leadership God has provided. So in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 12 and 13, Brothers, we ask you to show your appreciation for those who work among you. Set an example for you in the Lord and instruct. Instruct you. Hold them in the highest regard, loving them because all their work live in peace with each other. So in Tagalog, datapuat ipanamah mananhik namin sa inyo, mga kapatid, na inyong kinalanin ang nangagpapagal sa inyo at nangamumuno sa inyo sa Panginoon at nangagpapalala sa inyo. At inyong lubos na pagkamahalin sila sa pag-ibig dahil sa kanilang gawa, magkakaroon kayo ng kapayapaan. Amen? Amen. So in James chapter 1, verse 26, If anyone thinks that he is religious and goes not bridle his tongue, but instead deceives himself, his religion is worthless. Amen? So be careful in our lips, be careful in our, the way we talk as a Christian, the way we act be an example uh, to non-believers. Amen? So in in Psalms chapter 105 verse 15 Don't touch my anointed or hurt my prophets. So this is uh, King David. So meaning don't touch my anointed or hurt my prophets or, or else maybe the Lord can curse you from third generation to fourth generation. Amen. So number three, be active in your role. Pastors often feel alone. Many times they are overworked because everything is left to them. However, when members use their gifts and skills from God to participate in the ministry of the church, the pastors receive needed help and an emotional boost. So meaning emotional na pagpapalakas. Na as a um, so lahat tayong mga, mga Christian, lalo na dito sa church na ito, dapat tulungan natin si pastor. Marami po siyang mga ministry. Dapat kukunin natin yung iba para hindi stress. Kung mayroong Bible study, kunin sa ibang mga elders. And then, kapag if you want to train your soul, go with pastors every like a ministry and invite them. Talk to them always. If you want to train your soul. So, kailangan mag ano tayo sa mga kapatiran. Nga the same spirit. So in Galatians chapter 6 verse 10. So then, Whenever we have the opportunity, let's practice doing good to everyone, especially to the family of faith. Sino po tong mga family of faith? So, tayo po yung mga believers, family of faith.
in 1 Corinthians naman, chapter 15, verse 58, Therefore, my brothers, be steadfast, unmovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, because you know that the work that you do for the Lord is not, isn't wasted. So meaning, hindi sayang yung mga mga ginagawa nating mga kabutihan sa kapwa-tao natin. Sinakasulat sa 1 Corinthians na hindi masasayang, hindi yung wasted yung mga ginawa natin. And in the end of the day, mayroon po tayong award sa sa itaas. In Hebrew chapter 13 verse 16, Do not neglect to do good and to generous, for God is pleased with just sacrifice. So meaning, hindi po tayong mag masasayangan ng ng ating kalooban na tumutulong, lalo na sa mga pastors. Una, dapat sa church tayo. Dapat sa church mayroon tayong appreciation month to the pastors. Usually, they do uh, in every October. So, next month, kung mayroon po tayong plano, dapat i-appreciate natin yung mga pastors. Give an encouraging word. Let's say example, yung after uh, service, magtanong po tayo para pastor, ganito, uh, yung mga about sa priest, preaching niya na 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 change tayo through na reveal ng Panginoon na through pastors na rebuke tayo ng Panginoon give a gift gift card or something that pastor that's the way you appreciate pastors and to bless pastors. Give hospitality. Invite them. You have a birthday or something. Invite them. Including the spouse and the family. Give acts of service. Minsan mag ano tayo, mag kung mayroong imuwer sa bahay nila, mag muwer tayo. At saka kung mayroong tulong, bida, offer service. Give time away, lalo na sa vacation. Bigyan po natin ng bakasyon si pastor with their family. Kailangan nila, tao din sila. Amen? Amen. In Matthew chapter 22, verse 15 to 22. So then the, they're talking about uh, paying the taxes to Caesar. Then the Pharisees went a plan how to trap Jesus in conversation. They sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians. They said, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and that you teach the way of God truthfully. You don't favor any individual because you pay no attention to internal appearance. So tell us what you think. It is lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Recognizing their wickedness, Jesus asked, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coins of yours for the tax. Then brought him in denarius. Then he He asked them, Who is and the name is this? Then they told him, Caesar's. So he told them, Then give back to Caesar's the things that are Caesar's, and God the things that are God's. When they heard this, they were amazed. Then they left him and went away. So meaning, In this world, we have to pay our taxes every end of the year. In every whatever we do, that's uh, uh, with with tax. 
and then and they said and to God things are God's so meaning for example the the tithes we have to uh, faithful with tithes so like I said earlier the reason why I am so blessed not to boast because God said I want you more tax than they give me a blessings so I want you 50 hours 50 dollars per hour amen <laughs> so $50 per hour, so more tithes, right? So that's the meaning. So the, I want you to bless more. God said, there's, and there's no more, more room in your house. Not only the tithes and also the offering and also the talent and also the Time, money, and talent. Amen? Amen. So in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 24, whatever you do, work at heart heartedly, as though were they doing it for the Lord, as not merely for people. For know that is from the Lord that you will receive in inheritance. As a reward, it is the Lord Messiah whom you are serving. So, meaning, let's say, for example, sa trabaho natin, kahit wala ang amo, gawin natin, hindi para sa amo natin, kung hindi, we serve it na para sa Panginoon. We have to train ourselves. Not uh, like a, uh, they call that zip zip. Nagpakita lang kapag mayroong amo, trabaho ako na para tumaas yung ranggo, ganun. O, huwag ganun. Dapat kapag walang amo, trabaho ka lang, trabaho for the Lord. And po dito naman sa church, dapat kung mag-serve tayo, if we serving to the Lord, not for the men. That's why lots of uh, Christian that's called backslide because whatever uh, they saw the I'm gonna say or hindi kaya aya sa kanila na or parang mari, mali sa kanila sa paningin nila na, na may mali si pastor tapos yun madi-discourage na then mabackslide na so dapat hindi O hindi nyo, kasi tao rin sila, hindi nyo tingnan yung dapat focus to the Lord. Magsimba tayo. Maraming distraction. Pero kapag mag-focus ka sa Panginoon, wala yun. Dito, mag-worship. Amen? So in last verse, in Matthew chapter 6, Verse 19 to 21. Stop throwing up treasure for yourself on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break and steal. But keep at storing and treasures for yourselves in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break and steal. Because where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So, Ang ginawa, po nat, ang ginawa po ng mga pastor, ito po yun. Nag, they are treasures. Ano po yung mga treasures in heaven? They are, they are visiting the sick and pray. Need, need pray and soul win. And they have Bible study. And everything, this is the Treasures in heaven, not treasures on earth. Amen?
Sumanalangin po tayo. Um, worship team. Um, before I pray, allow me to to pray your Britain's pastor and Ate Annie. And I call all the elders of the church, Pastor and Ate Annie, allow us to pray. We have to pray our pastors and their spouse. This is the sign of uh, obedience or um, submit. And to those who need a prayer, please come to the front. Please, our pastor. Ilagay po natin yung kamay. Pastor kay Ate Ani. Doesn't mean na sila yung spiritual leader. They need, they need prayer too. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for today, for today night. Father God, what a beautiful day, oh Lord. We continue to praise you, to worship you, Father God, with the spirit and in truth. Because you created the heaven and the earth, the sea and the living water, oh God. Lord, forgive us our sins and forgive those who sin against us, Lord. And it's not led into temptation, but deliver us from evil, oh God. Lord, thank you for all the trials, all the blessings upon blessings we receive and which are about to receive, oh God. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, blood you sweet with the Mount of Calvary. Lord, thank you for all the trials. We counted it joy with joy, Father God, because we know at the end of the day we are victorious, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, for this, our spiritual leader, Father God. May your Holy Spirit continue, release, mold them, melt them, fill them, use them for your kingdom, Father God. Release your power, pour out your power and love. Flows like a living water, flows like a river, Father God. Later on, it goes like a, a living water of God. Lord, please, 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 Panginoon. Siksik liglig at umaapaw pa rin ka na biyaya, Lord. So physical, financially, lalo na sa spiritually pa rin Continue to anoint them, Lord. Thank you.
some people will call this hallmark moment. You can see it if you want. It will just be uh, a short, short LP, long play. As a pastor, one of my favorite verses is James chapter 1. We'll start from 2, 7. Count it as pure joy whenever you face trials. In my Christian walk, I have gone through life. Most of the time, I'm alone. I remember when my father passed away on my way to the Philippines. One of the most, the loneliest trip that I have. There's a feeling of guilt inside my heart. Because I promised him that I will see him that month. But I wasn't able to do it. During that time, I was, I was really in need of someone to talk. Hoping that at least I can share it for someone that that I can share my feelings with. It was the Lord going back. There's a big part of me that I say that is full of. Sad pain of questions. But nobody's there to ask me. No. Every night I would talk to God and kept call my kids. But there's emptiness in me that I can. Bible says, count it all joy because such a thing produces it perseverance. Maybe that is why I became tough. When problem comes, the most difficult thing to carry are those things unspoken. How? Or those things that you cannot say and you just keep it inside your heart hoping that one day People will change, person will change, and that they will do the right thing. You see, that is forgiveness. You just hope that one day they will realize it. But sometimes, if pain is too much, it will just eat you. After five years, my brother died. Again, I was alone. Nobody's there to hug me. Nobody's there to talk to me. Every night. The Lord Jesus Christ, I, I always talk to Him. It's just that the physical body looks for something. When I moved to Canada, I left behind family. Man will just see me crying and I miss them. Again, I was alone. Physically, most probably I was alone, but spiritually, I know God is always there, always provides. 
I still remember when I was working in Anton Bar. I have to go to Priest River. And then from Priest River, I have to drive all the way to Edmonton. It was winter. I was alone in the car, listening to Christian song. I think I believe that those songs kept my sanity intact. There are things that you accomplish in life that you want to share to the people that you're counting on. But when you speak, they don't understand that it is not your accomplishment, but because you just want to share the joy, your emotion. No one is there to listen. Maybe for pastors, that is normal. I, I am the kind of a, a person that if the problem is too big, and if I think I will lose my control, I will just walk away. So if you see me walking away, just let me be. When I leave, sometimes I leave for months. <laughs> Especially when I was with my parents, sometime years. <laughs> but you know what? It was a great joy that I went through this problem. And feeling that I am not alone that you were there. You see, a lot of people, they say it is, easy to forgive. That is true. Forgiveness is very easy. But please, people, remember this. To remove the pain in one's heart, it's never easy. There will be countless sleepless nights when it will just eat you and you will pray to God experience will just die. Uh, last Monday night, I was with Terry. I ate with the God with Brother Terry. You see, Brother Terry, that night, my stomach was really, really in pain. Tinatawag dati po, sorry, sa mga babae. Ang sakit-sakit, dalawang araw na. And I cannot do anything about it except just to lie down and sleep. Sometimes, the cure is not, or the problem is not finding the cure for the sickness. Sometimes, and most of the times, I believe the cure starts it when someone masakit pa. Someone will ask you, masakit ba? All of us ask if we're sweet. There's so many people in my life that I was hoping to be with. But I have to wait for a long, long time before I can get closer.
can I say it? Before I can experience even the things that belong to me. Sometimes in my life, I have to ask the question, will it come before my love is gone? Before my emotion dies down? Or will it produce more emotion? There are times in my Christian walk that I've realized or shall I say I was confused in a way. Now ubus din pala ang pag-ibig. Aharapin mo ang isang tao pagdating mo. Pagod ka na. Hirap na hirap ka na. Mas kinasabihin mo kasi walang naririnig eh. Pahit ka pala kung payon. Magturo ka na magturo. Magmakaawa ka na magmakaawa. Wala eh. Ganun talaga ang tao eh. Well, we have to learn how to accept things the way they are. So to myself, you know, I believe it's time to move on. I am a pastor. I am called to be an apostle. And I have to live my calling. Sabi, ka, sabi ko sa inyo dati, maiwan na maiiwan. Sorry, pero di na ako papalik. What I'm trying to say is this. My, my tears are, my feelings are, in, um, are mixed right now. And the tears in my eyes are both tears of joy and tears because I am sad. I am joyful because you are all here. To be honest with you, I've, I've been wanting to feel this kind of feeling that I am not alone. That when I talk to someone, they would understand my inner self. There's something inside of me that has been burning there for the last 50 years. And no one knows about it except God. But as I'm as my brothers and sisters in Christ, Christ, I I wish I could share that that thing inside of me, that emotion. But then again, <coughs> talagang sa bawat tao merong secret na hindi ko pwedeng sabihin eh. Dadaling ko na lang yun habang buhay. Dadaling ko na lang hindi sa ng loob kasi trabaho ko yun eh. Na pagdating ng gabi, ganun na naman ang buhay ko. Nasolve ng Diyos ang maraming problema. Misa tinatanong ko, Diyos, Lord, kailan kaya? Ulang pa ba, Panginoon? Kunin niyo na lang ako, Lord. Gusto, gusto ko na makita kayo. Give me up, Lord. Kung well, sabi ng Diyos, ano yung kasabihan sa tagahan sa Pilipino? Masamang damo, mahirap pa patay. But then again, <laughs> pag tubigil na ako magsalita, sabihin mo, pagod na ako. Ganun din pala, no? Kaya pala tatay ko sinasa. That is why my father always ask me, saan ka ba kumukuha ng lakas? Hindi ka pa ba napapagod? Laro ka ng laro. 
when I was young. And you complain. Where do you get all those energy? Are you, you don't get tired? Now I understand why he said those words. Dumating ako sa edad, I reached this age wherein sometimes my knees pain when I kneel. Napapagod na rin pala ako. But you know what? I want you to listen to this. The presence of God is the strongest when you are at the lowest point in your life. Do ko siya nakita eh. Do ko siya natagpuan. Bago kayo gumawa ng isang lumang makakasama, tandaan nyo. At isipan nyo mabuti. Sapagkat may mga tao dinadala yun. Most probably sa haba nilang buhay. May mga bagay na pag nangyari sa inyo, hindi nyo na pwedeng balikan. You cannot go back. Sabi nung kanta, ah, sabi nung kasabihan na, we will only live this life once, pass through this life once. So better take at pagputihan mo na. Live the best. Sumulat ako kesa sa ibang kesa inyo, I wrote a letter. I'm not asking actually for money. I'm just asking for you to help me sell my things. But I was surprised that, Pastor, okay na, okay na, Pastor. It was a great relief. Nusubulat ako nun, there was a great miracle happening in front of us. We went to the bank last Monday. Every step mo, sakit eh, sakit dito. But when we get off the car, immediately I pray to God, Lord, may we win the favor of the person that we will talk to. Reveal to us, Lord God, your plan. If it is your will for this house to go, let it work. I am happy. Just the same. I have learned to lose a lot of things in life. With no, shall I say, pag, paghihilayang. But Lord God, let thy perfect will be done. So the person called us and we were scared that our interest rate will go high because of our delayed payment. When we went inside and started to talk to the lady, we explained our dilemma and they, she checked our account and said, you are delayed by two months. Oh, two months? Not three? No. Two months. And when are you when are you paying? Actually, I told them to remove money last week, but they didn't deduct from me. What? Then she checked and she called the the the, the company or the, the the office that takes care of this. Oh, yeah, it is written that we should have deducted last week. So you are only delayed by one month. Really? <laughs> ah, but tomorrow is collection day. So they have you have to pay for two months. But wait a minute. Aren't you allowed to skip a payment once every year? Did they offer that to you? No. <laughs> what? She called again and asked. Did you offer a skip a payment for this couple? And when they realized that they didn't, we opted for it. We were expecting that our monthly payment will almost reach $3,000 a month. And there is no way that we can pay for it. But you know what? After that conversation, it was a great joy 
that the woman, instead of telling us and confirming that our interest rate will go high because of our delinquent payment, she said, actually, your interest rate went down. <laughs> instead of paying this every month, you will be only paying this every month. It's lame. So it was a great miracle, and I was so happy yesterday. But, or last Monday. But the greater joy, the greatest joy, when people start to text me and said, Pastor, don't worry about it. Because we still have to pay for other months, right? We still have to raise $2,000 tomorrow. Church, thank you very much for all the help that you have extended. Maybe we are we got distracted by the problems that we have. But it is nice to know and very comforting to know that I am not alone in this church. Maraming maraming salamat. Pinaramdam niyo sa akin, ha? Mahal niyo rin pala ako. Hindi, alam ko naman yung mahal na mahal niyo ako, eh. Ako lang yung makulit. <laughs> Church, thank you for all the blessing and for helping me and my wife and my family for blessing us. Believe it or not, even if you are older than me or way, way younger than me, the reason why up to now I still cry whenever I remember Acts Kuwait because for me they are the same as my father my mother my brothers and sisters in flesh Hanggang ngayon, umiiyak pa rin ako pag hindi ko sila naalala ko sila. Ganon ko sila kamahal. Ganon ko kayo kamahal. Kung nagkakamali ako, patawarin niyo ako. Tao lang kasi ko eh. Pero what up? Ah, ganito na lang. Para lalo niyo ako maunawaan, hindi ko naman ini-excuse to. If you have one family of, shall I say, nine people, kasama ng nanay, tatay, and the children, and in-laws, pastors usually, they have families in the thousand. And the pastor has to take care and most of the time listen to their problems. The pastor, sino sasabihan niya kung walang nakikinig? Maraming salamat na kinig kayo sa aming problema. Thank you for all. Thank you to all of you for listening to our problems. And I know God will bless you sevenfold. Amen? Glory to God. Salamat po. Amen. Amen. Pastor, mahal po namin kayo. Ate Ani, mahal po namin kayo.